All right, here's the update on this thing. So uh, a few weeks ago, I think it was, um, this thing was driving it and saw the, air, the oil pressure go down and knew immediately it was the cam bearings because I'd already done all the typical gaskets and O-rings and stuff on the pickup tube and all that stuff. So I, I just knew what it was and got it home, let it sit till I had time to work on it. And over New Year's, we went to went out of town. The day we got back, I was just going to kind of go in and take it easy the rest of the day and then try to start on this the next day. But as soon as we got home, I just went ahead and jumped on it and then pulled it out, got it down to the bare block and found that it had spun number three cam bearing. I'd already bought the tool and some new Durban cam bearing. So I knocked the old ones out. The new ones went in great. Um, felt like they had a nice tight press fit so went with it and then i swapped out the pistons this was a lq4 out of an 05 2500 actually so i pulled the disc pistons out put a set of flat tops in it went back with the 243 head still uh, the same 212 218 600 585 110 cam from summit and this time I did the Trailblazer SS intake and had to do the ICT adapter to go four bolt to three bolt. I've tried the X-Link before, I've never got one to work. So, I mean, and, th and now they're a lot more expensive than they, than they used to be. So I just, that adapter I think less than $30. So I got it. Got everything back together and these are the i put flex injectors in it and they're 33 pound per hour so i went and found uh, a flex tune and we're actually out of a o2 tahoe i know was one of the sets we're out of so copied the data from there put it in the tune file for this wrote it and now the duty cycle I mean, I've only had it to about 4,500 RPM while data logging, and it was about 50% duty cycle before. It was pretty much close to 90, 80, 90%. It was, it was high up there. So I was out of injector, and it was spark knocking. So now with the, the new injectors, now that it's able to have the fuel, it's not as bad um, with the added compression. The, you know, I had to pull a couple degrees here and there. So I data logged it and pulled pulled timing out where it needed to come out. Um, that's the fuel setup I did with the vet style return filter just to get it hooked up. So I actually just plugged it in. I was able to bolt right there. And then um, I had a fitting that went to a dash six and then put the the dash six on the stock fuel line and then use the fuel crossover hose that came with some intake kit or something I had. So I got that on there and the truck really runs good. I'm really impressed with it. Um, it's got great torque, pulls good, runs good. Really happy with it. Um, it had it now when I was doing a spark knock and all, it did have a tank of 87 in it, and I put a bottle of Octane Booster in it. It was probably about half a tank or so when I, I put a whole bottle of that Octane Booster in it, and it, I didn't, I didn't hear any more knock, so I filled up the other day when I drove it, and it got, it actually got 12 and a half miles a gallon. That's fairly normal driving around town. Uh, not really stop and go just out here there's not really a whole lot of stop and go so um i didn't think it was too bad the with the other one i got 13 uh some of that was interstate too so i mean i don't, I don't think 12 fire for this big trucks you know really that bad the the red turbo truck down there and got 8.6 miles per gallon um just 
well, <laughs> it had a trailer on it, but I hadn't been towing for very long with it, so. But, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Glad I was able to fix it and get the can bearings in it. Um, was unfortunate that I, from now on, now that I have the tool and have done it and uh, everything, if I've got one out and do a cam, I'm just going to go ahead and and put put new cam bearings. I mean, you know, all the stuff you see, they, oh, don't look at the cam bearings, blah, blah. I mean, I, I think that guy doesn't even own one long enough to do an oil change, so why would he care? Um, but I just knocked new cam bearings in. And another thing, I uh, was looking at this cam the other day, on summit and um it actually you can get away with a beehive a single beehive that goes up to 600 lift and that's probably what i should have done i think they're about 160 bucks for a set of those valve springs and i think that would have been a lot easier on the valve train versus this one has a double btr 660 spring so that's what i had so i used them hindsight i should have just bought another set and saved the btrs for something else when i needed them but um truck's looking pretty good and runs good i'm really happy with it um i showed the transfer case video i'm working on to get the 263 case in it and that's got so it's got headers. I built a three inch sections to hook the headers into the factory 2500 exhaust. So it's got the stock 2500 exhaust on it, which is actually the 2500 exhaust is bigger than the 1500 HD exhaust. So I've got that put on there. And like I say, I just built this truck out of what I had laying around. And like I said, I'm very impressed with it. Really like it. I do wish it had four tens. I picked up a Trailblazer SS the other day, and it's got a 14 bolt with four tens. But then, since this one's four wheel drive, I'd have to worry about the front. So it runs well enough for what it is. Like I say, these are 285 tires, and it's a 373 truck. So I don't know how how tall. I I think it's 32.8. And I don't know how tall the stock height tires are, but it's just your basic uh, work truck, roll up windows, and then uh, the the front seat that came in it was absolutely destroyed. So uh, my buddy found these for me on Marketplace, and they were like 150 bucks for the whole bench. So um, it had the like the leather type or whatever it is vinyl work seats in the front but i got the floor shifter in that's out of the 07 truck so i went and measured his and laid everything out and cut the hole and got that in so when i get my the 263 case finished then i'll be able to shift it from down there and then if you can see right there's the switch I wired in so it goes to the front diff and actuates the front diff to go on four wheel drive. And then this is actually a Trailblazer airbag and Trailblazer SS steering wheel. And uh, let's see. And yes, the gauge panel lights up like a Christmas tree. I gotta scan the, see what the ABS thing is on it, but.
Sounds pretty good for the stock exhaust in my opinion.